Courage to Change, August 21st. Let's do it. Some Al-Anon suggestions, such as getting a sponsor, were easy for me because I'm good at following specific instructions. But I didn't know what to do with the slogan, live and let live. Al-Anon helped me to let live by teaching me about detachment and helping me see that many of my problems stem from minding everyone's business but my own. <laughs> but how do you turn your eyes on yourself and live for the first time in your life? When I put this question to my sponsor, she asked me what in turn. What had I done earlier that day? Although I had been very busy the day, although I'd had a very busy day, I could barely remember what I'd been doing. My sponsor suggested I begin learning how to live by becoming more aware of my life as I was already living it. Then I would be better able to make choices about how I'd like to live. Searching for the real me, living according to my needs and loving myself as a newfound friend have been the most rewarding benefits of the Al-Anon program. Strangely, they're the last ones I would have imagined receiving when I began. Then today's reminder says, today I can choose to take responsibility for my own life if I stay out of others' affairs and become more aware of my own. I have a good chance of finding some serenity. So I like the reading. I think what it's talking about is when you live on autopilot, <laughs> especially if you're codependent and you get on autopilot and you are just busy, 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 and you are busy doing this and busy doing that. And you don't even know what you've done, right? Live in everybody else's life, but your own, you know, it's really hard. Uh, so I think it's very live and let live is uh, mind your own business and leave people alone. <laughs> That's what I think it should say. Stay in your own hula hoop, stay in your lane, whatever you want to say. It's mind your own business. Um, if I just dealt with what was supposed to, I was supposed to do today, um, I wouldn't be so tired, you know, but I take on a lot. I pile on my plate. I don't know why somebody says something and I'll say, I'll do it. I'll help you. I'll take care of that. And uh, I end up over, you know, I end up just overwhelmed and then I'm a victim, right? Because I'm doing everything and no one is helping me. <laughs> and I did this for you, right? So I think it's really important and I'm going to try it. Today is Friday and I'm going to try to live in the moment, to stay in this moment, not be jetting out ahead, right? It's not Saturday and Sunday. It's not even Friday night. Friday morning I got the whole day ahead of me I'm gonna stay in the moment and I'm going to try to look after my own business today I have so much to do and I find that I procrastinate on my own stuff and I use doing things for other people to get me out of my own responsibilities because I don't want to do it so I would much better I'm much better at running your life than I would be at running mine, that kind of thinking. You know what I mean? So I'm always trying to help. I'm over helping. You ever had a friend that helped so much that you just want them to back the fuck off? <laughs> you know, I think it's important to just today, the world is going on, lots of shit going on, right? So why don't we just mind our own business today? Just for today. Tomorrow you can get back into everybody else's shit if you want to, but today, Mind your own business, stay in the moment. Just do the next indicated thing. Take it easy, breathe, look after yourself, eat something, take a nap, drink lots of water, go for a walk, say a prayer, listen to your favorite song. Take it easy. <laughs> I think one thing I've learned from this pandemic is there was like, there was a mad rush all the time before, like, like, I don't know, like somebody was chasing me <laughs> and it just was like, oh my God, is it Valentine's day? I thought it was just Halloween. You know what I mean? It was just like, ah, and then urch, everything stopped. Everything stopped. And now I'm like, okay, wait, what, what, what do I do? I think I got to live in the moment. I think I got to enjoy my, my, my moment, my now, the now. Not when the pandemic's over, not when we don't have to wear masks, 
not when the weather changes, not when I lose 20 pounds, can I just be happy right now? I like that. All of a sudden I feel like, ugh, right? Relax. Everything is going to be okay. Stay in the moment, mind your own business, take it easy. Take a lock. You'll have tons of energy and time left over you won't even know what to do with. Okay? Take care of yourself. Have a fantastic weekend. I love you all. Bye.